This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so we will be starting with the quality notification call. Okay, so earlier uh, we have discussed on uh, quality notification processing and the foreground execution, cre creating the quality notification, and then processing the quality notifications we have covered. So in this session, uh, we will see the configuration settings required for the quality notifications. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see how to create a new quality notification type, new notification type configuration. Okay. And then configure screen areas and tab pages. How to, when you create the quality notification, you see some tabs with some subscreens. So how to configure them, we'll see. The number assignment for notifications. So when you create a notification and save system, will assign a unique number. How that number range configuration we need to do. And then catalog profile and assignment of catalog profile. We already discussed what is catalog profile, what is its use. Okay, so how that catalog profile needs to be assigned to the notifications, we will see. Related notifications configuration. This I will show it in the system. Then priorities. Priorities configuration, like you have the high priority, uh, high, very high, high, low, medium. So those priorities configuration. Then automatic task determination. Sometimes based on the priority, you can define the task automatically that we will see. Then partner determination configuration. How to determine the partners we'll see then status management okay user status and systems system status and user status then field selection uh, some if you want to make a field mandatory how to do that then we will see action box configuration okay we will create a new notification type and we will do the entire configuration and then we will see whether that configuration is working or not by creating a new notification with that notification type okay so uh, first we will start with the notification type configuration okay so whenever we are creating a notification if you see we will assign a notification type i will log into the system okay i am logging on to a s4 hana system okay Okay, so whenever we are creating a notification, if you observe QM01, we use a notification type. If you recollect our notification session, we used Q2. We used Q2. So this notification type will control everything. All the screen tabs, selection screen, all the tabs, screens, number range. Okay, everything it will be controlled by this notification type. So these are all standard SAP notification types. If you want, based on the customer requirement, we can create our own notification type. Okay. So, so before that, we, we discussed this already. Quality notifications are a flexible tool that can be tailored to suit your company requirements. Okay. Many, many settings can be made in customizing for each notification type. That's what I just explained. Standard SAP comes up with some uh, standard notification types, but in some times, due to XYZ reasons, you may ask could you to, they may ask you to create a new notification type. Suppose let's say the requirement is like this. Suppose let's say when you are creating a notification, let's say I'll use Q2. Okay, continue. Suppose let's say in the reference object tab, here you have how many subscreens? One, two, three, four. Now your client says uh, we don't want this subscreen. We, uh, we, we don't want to enter anything in this work center. So just you remove this. So in those kind of scenarios, you go for a custom notification type instead of changing the settings in the standard notification types. I have just given you one example. Or sometimes they may ask an extra subscreen also over here. They may ask. Okay. So those kind of scenarios, you go for a custom notification type. Okay. A user specific quality notification is the one that that does not belong to one of the standard notification types predefined in the qm component that's what so 
we can create our own user specific quality notification type instead of using the standard notification types okay a user specific notification type has the same basic structure as the standard predefined notification types of course it, it, it looks more or less like same uh, standard notification type but you can modify okay the screen layouts reference objects and tab indexes however may differ from those in the predefined notification types that's what i just explained okay you can you can modify you can create the screen layouts as per your requirement depending on how you customize the user specific notification type okay so the custom notification type. okay so before going into the configuration we need to understand three terminologies one is notification category next one is notification origin next one is notification type okay so first we'll start with notification category okay so what is notification category the notification category identifies notifications that are related to a particular application component in the system okay so notification category will tell you in which application you are using this notification let's say we are using our notifications in qm module okay and the notifications are also used in pm module they are also used in cs module they are also used in ps module okay so which application you are using so all our notification belongs to the qm applications okay the notification category 0 to for example is used for quality notifications in the standard system so all quality notifications belong to the category zero this you cannot change this is standard scp where you can see this zero so if you if you go to configuration suppose let me let me go to the configuration okay i'll go to configuration sap reference img okay go to quality management okay go to quality notifications here notification creation if you open this notification type open this define notification types if you go there okay here you have a lot of notification types okay belonging to the different modules but if you go to quality notification notification category you see these are all quality notifications q1 q2 q3 all these things okay so if you go to one of the quality notification type select it go to details okay you see here notification category is zero two. this is standard sap you cannot change it if you if you want to see the other categories you see these are the ones the notifications which are used in plan maintenance module they belong to the category zero quality notification belong to the category zero two as i just explained and service module quality notifications belong to the category zero okay so this is standard sap you cannot change it even you cannot create a new category also not possible uh, next next one is notification origin okay notification origin the notification origin the notification origin defines the business context in which a notification is used okay so according to which business process in which business context you are using this notification suppose let's say in our qm module the following notification origins are supported by sap for quality notifications like if you are using a notification for customer complaint the cat the origin is q1 if you are using a notification for a complaint against vendor the origin is q2 and if it is for internal problem production notification it is like q3. so these notification origin you can see it here if you go to customer complaint notification type again go to details here you see this is the origin this is the origin q1 q2 q3 okay so that is the origin it is a customer complaint notification type so the origin is customer complaint. okay so that is a notification origin now the next one is notification type notification type okay these are all the notification types which you are able to see here like q1 f1 q2 f2 q3 f3 all these are standard sap notification types predefined in the system already 
okay the notification type determines the origin the content and the proper other properties of a notification so basically in the notification type you will maintain what is the origin the one which i showed you what content you want to enter tabs subscreens and other properties okay you can define your own notification types in customize that's what i just explained apart from the predefined standard sap notification types we can create our own notification type okay sap provides sample notification types for example q2 and f2 the one which i showed you just like q2 f2 okay but we will be creating a custom notification type so whenever you create a custom notification type okay you have to do all these configurations okay you have to define notification type and parameter partners priorities action box follow functions catalog profiles assignment response time monitoring okay print control status profile field selection all these settings you need to do now we will do all these things one by one okay so basically you create a custom notification type in that you will maintain all these uh, settings all these settings and when you are creating a quality notification notification you use this notification type okay so now first let's create a notification type so i'll create a notification type called z2 z2 okay so i'll go back once first define notification types open this okay what i will do i will take i will think you to will create z2 okay you can directly click on new entries and you can enter the information or or what you can do you can take the existing one and you can do the copy function okay but preferred suggested is use the existing one and just do the copy so i'll select the existing one q2 and i'll do the copy copy as okay now i'll put it as set two. 